Good morning. Please kneel and join me for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh. From the beginning, you already were. Before even time began, you are Son. And with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is the second Sunday of Lent. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Jerry Orbos, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, thank you for the love in your hearts, the sacrifice you make to be present before the Lord on this Sunday. We bow our heads in prayer. Sana, when the Lord looks at us, He will tell us, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. You are my beloved daughter, in whom I am well pleased. As we come before the Lord today, we ask the Lord for forgiveness for many times we failed in loving God and our brothers and sisters. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. 
And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We include now our personal thanksgiving requests and intentions. And please ask the Lord today, change my heart, O Lord, and change whatever needs to be changed in my life so that I live a life more pleasing to you. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believed even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I will walk in the presence of the O Lord, I am your servant. 
I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you I will offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will walk in the presence of the My vows to the Lord will, I will pay in the presence of all His people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, how will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us, who will condemn? Christ Jesus it is who died, or rather was raised, who also is the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Praise to Christ, words of endless glory, God has spoken by a son, Jesus Christ among all, light of And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John off by themselves with him and led them up a high mountain. He was transfigured before their eyes, and his clothes became dazzlingly white, whiter than the work of any bleacher could make them. And Elijah appeared to them, along with Moses, the two were in conversation with Jesus. Then Peter spoke to Jesus, Rabbi, how good it is for us to be here. Let us erect three booths in this site, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say, for they were all overcome with awe. A cloud came overshadowing them and out of the cloud a voice this is my beloved son listen to him suddenly looking around they no longer saw anyone with them only Jesus as they were coming down the mountain strictly enjoined them not to tell anyone what they had seen 
before the Son of Man had risen from the dead, they kept his word, this word of his to themselves, though they continued to discuss what to rise from the dead meant. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart. Come, Holy Spirit, be with us. Come. Sisters and brothers, medyo makulimlim. And we're praying for rain. Mainit na po. Sana Lord, umulan. You believe it will happen? Believe, trust, surrender. Anyway, my dear brothers and sisters, today is the feast of the solemnity of the trans the gospel of the transfiguration of our Lord. Anong naisip mo kung the word figure comes? Tignan mo nga yung figure ng katabi mo? Yung bang transfiguration? Or figure mga numbers? But the gospel tells us today what happened. Jesus was transfigured Transfigured, nagibang anu siya. All power and light was coming out, and the three disciples, they were so awed. What is the message of transfiguration? That Jesus is real, he has power. He showed it to them. But you know what, mga kapatid? There is a reason why he nakita ni Lord who he was. It was really for the disciples. That they will remember Him. That they will hold on to what happened. The same thing po when we pray. It's not so much about us. Prayer. When you pray, you are changed. Hindi yung, I'm praying, parang utang nagloob pa ng Panginoon na nagdadasal ka. Hindi po. We are the ones who benefit when we pray. Okay? We owe God everything. He owes us nothing. Keep that in mind. Why the transfiguration? Para po, the disciples will always remember that mountain top experience. That when they go back to their realities and the dark valleys, it happened there. I know He is God. Mga I'd like to ask you, naalaala mo pa ba when you became close to God? When you experienced Him? Maybe you were sick, or maybe you had a heartache, or maybe you asked for something and God became so real in your life. Keep going back to that memory, please. Remembering. Keep remembering. It was possible once that you were so close to God. It's still possible. Continue. The vision of the mountaintop makes you strong, even in the dark valleys. Sisters and brothers, naalala mo ba nung naging close ka na kay Lord? Only you would know that. Naalala mo ba when you had your conversion and you said, Lord, kayo po ang Diyos ko. Well, my personal transfiguration moment, you can count the big moment. For example, nung novice po ako, 1972, I think I was like, what, 18 years old? I experienced God in the context of a prayer meeting. Deep prayer and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Ang vision doon, God was embracing me. A loving Father embracing me. I felt like a baby being loved by God. It's hard to describe a religious experience, but alam mo yun eh. You know it happened. Go back to these memories. Next big 
memory about a religious experience before ordination I was asking the Lord sa Baguio retreat house Lord talaga bang gusto niyong magpari ako let me know what's the religious experience I bowed my head and I I experienced I don't know how to describe it Father, Son and Holy Spirit nagsalita yung Holy Spirit spokesman ng Trinity sabi niya Jerry Father, the Son, and I had a meeting. And we have chosen you to become a priest. Diyos ko po, pinagmimitingan ka pala ng Trinity. Halos maiyak po ko talagang really. It's hard to explain, but I know God is real. Go back. Go back to your own experiences. Try to remember. And if you remember, Transfiguration happens once again. Wag yung kakalimutan po those moments when God embraced you and God loved you. And of course, my latest transfiguration moment was when I had cancer 2018. God was really real in every day. So we need to go back. That's what happened to the disciples. Because of their transfiguration experience, they became strong. So mga kapatid, please don't forget to remember. Keep remembering. But why don't we remember? Hindi mo na naalala. See, many times you don't take time to remember. So you have to learn to listen. The gospel today says, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Listen to him. Will you please bow your heads now? Just close your eyes. Listen to the sound of silence. The Lord is present in the silence. Listen. What is the Lord telling you right now? Maybe the Lord is telling you, Anak, I am with you. Anak, kumusta ka na? Okay ka ba? Okay ba tayo? Kumusta tayo ngayon? I am with you always and in all ways. That's all you need to remember. And don't forget your mission. Focus. Keep going. My mission ka pa. Listen. Sisters and brothers, we just experience simple listening. And when you listen, you experience God in a very personal way. So, acronym for LISTEN. How can we truly listen? L-I-S-T-E-N. L, if you want to listen, L, lower your noise. Hindi ka nakakapikinig kasi salita ka ng salita. Lower your noise. Ano yung noise mo sa buhay mo? Yung pinagkakaabalahan mo? Shut it off so that you listen to God. Learn to be mindful of God's presence. Be mindful of others. Lower your noise. Letter I, you lower your noise, increase God's voice. Lower mo yung noise mo. Increase God's voice. And how do you do that? Oh, be still. The Lord is talking to us, is calling us. But you know what? Many times, the call of earthly treasures is stronger than the call of the Master. That's our experience. The call of God is drawn by the noise of this world, especially to enjoy, to relax, to be happy. 
Be still and know that I am God. Sana po, go to the Bible, spend quiet time in prayer. And what is Samuel? The book of Samuel tells us, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. There are times when just keep quiet and the Lord will speak to you. Third, S, search your heart. Ang problema natin, we don't usually focus on our heart because we are so focused on the work of our hands. Nandito tayo lahat eh. Pera, provisions, mga connections ko, mga deal. It's all about work, work, work of the hand. Who talks about the heart? Kumusta? You have so much, pero baka naman yung puso mo, empty. God is hardly there. Kukunti lang, very few people are there because you have not cared for them. Mga kapatid, there are people who die with so much in their hands. Full. Millions. Billions. Mga iba, ninakaw at lahat na. Punong-puno. But their hearts are empty because they disobeyed God. Sana po huwag magyari sa atin yan. Puso pa rin, mga kapatid. Heart to heart. And so, Question, are you sharing enough? Are you helping people? Are you making your relationship with God more real? Go back to the heart. Then you can really listen to the Lord. Lord, you search me and you know me. You know all about me. You know my heart. Psalm 139. You read that one time. Psalm 139. Ano yung letter T sa listen? Tame your pride. When you tame your pride, you begin to really listen to God and to other people. As long as you're proud, you're just listening to yourself. My point of view, my take, my opinion, my rights. But if you're humble, you say, it's okay, I'm here. Give it on. Bring it on. I'll take it all. Pride. Hindi ka nakikinig. Ano ba sinasabi niyo sa mga anak niyo? Hindi ka kasi nakikinig. Ang tigas ng ulo mo. Baka yan din ang sinasabi ni Lord sa ating. Hindi ka nakikinig. Eh. Okay? And finally, letter E. Is your mind. Is your mind. Ang mind natin gulong-gulo. Many times, ang dami kang iniisip. What do you do? You listen to the Lord tell you now, Come to me. Come to me, all you are tired, heavily burdened. I will give you rest. Pagod na tayo. You're always thinking, overthinking, overthinking. Kakapagod yan. Number two, Overhurting, overhurting. Ang dami kang tampo, ang dami kang issues. Lahat, nasasaktan ka. Dumaan ka sa security guard, hindi man lang gumiti sa akin. Diyos ko po, pinagtatampo na muna lahat. And number three, you are overfighting. Gera lahat. I have to be right. I have to tell them, dapat ganito, dapat sila. Slow down. Stop over. Thinking, over, hurting, over fighting. Masyado ka kasing over. Masyadong too much. Sobrang over yan. Mapapagod ka. Come to me. If you only listen, hindi naman pala maraming gera sa buhay mo. And finally, letter N, neutralize your issues. <laughs> Ang dami kang issues sa buhay. May nagsabi, if you have so many magazines, you have the tendency to collect all the magazines. That's because you have many issues in your life. What I'm saying is, hey, BTS, if you listen, believe, trust, and surrender, 
life is okay. Be still and know that I am God. And you realize God is the greatest healer. God is the great comforter. God is the great provider. And God will make a way. But if you're fighting everything and not listening, don't forget, I always ask you, Papano, when you use, uh, you mix coffee, do you use your right hand or your left hand? Left, right? I use kucharita, teaspoon. What does it mean? Marami ka sa atin, nila, ikaw lahat sumasabak, mainit yan. May kutsarita naman si Lord eh. You ask His help. Listen. Brothers and sisters, today, you bow your head. If today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Lord, help us to lower our noise. Help us to increase your voice. Help us to search our hearts. Help us to tame our pride. And please ease our minds and neutralize our issues. Sisters and brothers, right now, listen. If the Lord is telling you again, Anak, I am always with you. Listen to me more. Listen to yourself less. Listen to world opinion, world chatter less. Listen to me more. I love you. Don't forget that. Change our hearts, O oh Lord. Help us to listen, to remember, and experience transfiguration. Amen, Lord, and Amen. So we now profess our faith as we pray. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Before we pray the prayer of the faithful, remember I told you we pray for rain? It's raining. What a blessing for all the plants, for the farmers. God answers prayers. We now present to the Lord the prayer of the faithful. Believe, trust, and surrender. In a world impatient with discomfort and imperfection, May the Church be a sign that all are pilgrims in this world that is in agony while waiting for the fullness of God's kingdom, we pray. Lord of Light, listen to our prayer. Amid so much materialism and hedonism, may Pope Francis, our bishops, clergy, and consecrated men and women continue to witness to the gospel values of poverty and sacrifice. We pray. Lord of Light, listen to our prayer. May government officials listen to the voice of the poor and the weak instead of giving in to the demands of the rich and the powerful. 
we pray. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. May the transfigured Christ inspire us to rise from fear, anxiety, and despair and transform us into a people of courage, hope, and love. We pray. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. May we grow in the faith and trust that we are not lost in death, but safe with the risen Lord in the hands of God. We pray. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord of light, listen to our prayer. O Lord our God, we heard that there will be El Nino, no rain till June, drought and all. But we prayed for rain, and it's raining. You are God who loves us. Help us to trust you more and worry less. And help us to listen to you more and listen to ourselves less and help us to listen to the people around us especially the poor the sick and the suffering we offer all these prayers for the intercession of mama mary and in the name of jesus christ our lord amen, amen and amen please be seated our mass offerer is Mr. and Mrs. Jasmine and family. Please rise. We pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church.
May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults, sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us joyfully give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, a loving Father, to our Lord Jesus Christ. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. It's the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, it held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we come together, gather together into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. 
spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ernesto, our Bishop, all the other bishops, the clergy, the missionaries, the religious, and the laity. Remember also, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Listen to the music of the falling rain. Our Father loves us so much. Di niya tayo pababayaan. Today, once again, BTS, just believe, trust, surrender everything, everyone to God, our loving Father. bow your heads and listen listen to the Lord telling you again that he is with you the great provider the greatest healer the God who makes a way yes father deliver us from all evil and grant us peace in our days and keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever.
Amen. And may the peace and the joy of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So listen, brothers, you can truly have peace and joy if you really listen to the Lord. Listen more to the Lord and you'll have more peace. But listen not just with your ears. Listen not just with your head. Listen with your heart. So let's listen now again. The Lord tell us. Big heart. Yes, we are in your big heart. Thank you for reminding us, O oh Lord. Our human heart. Thank you for reminding us to be more human, more generous, more kind. The small heart. Teach us and remind us again, Lord, to have a heart for the little ones in our midst. And remind us again, Lord, that we have a heart that we continue to connect with people as far as possible, as many as possible, heart to heart. Let's connect again with one another, heart to heart. Peace be with you all. And Peace God bless be with you. join us now online. Welcome the Lord. The Lord is loving you and me, whoever we are, 100%, no conditions. That's how much God loves us. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Help us to listen to you more. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. But in the blood of Christ, bring us to the Amen. Reminder, Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. Thank you. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart, 
I embrace you as you feel you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
announcements. On all Fridays of Lent, let us meditate on the Passion of Christ in the Stations of the Cross at 5 p.m. This will be followed by the Holy Mass and devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus at 6 p.m. We are also welcome to join the Our Father Lenten Weekend Retreat from Friday evening to Sunday noon on any of the following dates, March 1 to 3, March 8 to 10, and March 15 to 17. For more information and registration, please email finnemanhall at gmail.com or call 928 one six four zero two two six or check FB page Bishop Finneman Hall. Lastly, this Lenten season, let us fast and feed a child. Let us share our blessings to the growing number of malnourished children by supporting the Fast to Feed campaign. Fast to Feed envelopes envelopes are available for your donations. You may offer it during the Mass or submit it to the Shrine Office. Thank you very much. From Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. I invite you all to bow your heads. Put your right hand over your heart. You have just received the Lord. And many times we don't listen enough. The altar prayer, A-L-T-A-R. Let us adore the Lord. Listen to Him telling you now, I am your God, but I am present with you. I'm always with you. L, listen to the Lord. Listen to Him more. The Lord tells you, I'm always speaking to you, but you don't listen. Listen. T, thank the Lord. Maybe the Lord is telling you many times you focus on what is missing and you don't thank me for your many many blessings. A. Ask. Yes. You can come to me. Tell me anything. Ask me anything. I am the Lord your God. And our rejoice. The Lord tells you today, you focus on the negative. You forget to rejoice in your blessings. The Lord tells you today again, listen, I want you to be happy. Do not let the evil one make you focus on the negative. I want you to focus on your blessings. And I want you to focus on your goodness, not on what is wrong. You are good, and I love you. Listen to the Lord more. Listen to yourself less. Amen, Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Please rise. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, Lord, for allowing us, while still on this earth, to be partakers even now on the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To bow your heads and smile at the Lord. Let him smile at you. Let the Lord tell you again, 
I am with you always. And don't forget, you have a mission. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the love in your hearts. Go and please listen to the Lord more and listen to yourself less. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. At Dayum Choir. Go. Thank you. Children come and woo, woo, cheer. OMG, God is alive. This year, happy birthday to you, and may the spirit of Christmas be always in our hearts. 
God bless you. Okay.